The Taliban say they're not interested in reprisals, but the facts on the ground belie that claim. My office has received credible allegations of reprisal killings. Of the UN says revenge is widespread. Among those in hiding, the sister of this Toronto man, whose identity we're concealing for her protection. They killed her husband and she cannot look eye to eye to them. And she's trying to hide herself. And then this. This was one of four emails sent by Canada's Immigration Department to vulnerable Afghans looking to escape the Taliban. They were sent to reply all, meaning the Taliban only needs to get one email to see everyone on the list, both names and faces in many cases, including this man's sister. This can put lots of vulnerable people at further risk of being targeted, being arrested, or even being killed by the Taliban, who do not want people to be in touch with the foreigners. The same thing happened last month in Britain, prompting a swift and public response. It was brought to my attention at 20 hundred hours last night there'd been a significant data breach. To say, Mr. Speaker, I was angered by this under, was an understatement and I immediately directed an investigation to take place. The Canadian League is even bigger, several hundred names. The Canadian government didn't acknowledge its mistake publicly, but instead had a public servant send an apology letter to those affected, asking them to delete their emails. Not great news for a new immigration minister on his first day in office. There have uh, already been uh, information that's been compromised. It's something that I'm going to look at with the department when I meet with them uh, immediately following this press conference. The response should include helping those who were exposed, says this advocate. If you have leaked their data, then you've, you're contributing to uh, putting their safety you know, at risk and uh, that Canada needs to take some steps to, to expedite their, their process. In the meantime, it's extra fear and anxiety for several hundred very vulnerable people. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Chelsea, Quebec.